hello everybody. Um, I'm back with another tutorial, although I th thought I'd try something new this time. Uh, I decided I would get uh, three different tutorials that are smaller <clears throat> and put them into one video. So, uh, uh, today I'm going to be doing... And, you know, tell me in the comment section if you want me to do, like, a long one like I did last time, or you want me to keep doing these short ones. Uh, so anyway, we have health bars, I'm gonna be doing that. Um, the crasher object, which is available in the full version only, because you do have to download it from the, uh, the what's it called, the manager, extension manager. It is an extension you have to download. Uh, then we have the window shape object, which is not an extension, so, uh, I'm going to cut the video out here, and the next screen you should see should be a time table sort of thing of where the time for each object is going to be. Uh, next up, but we are going to do health bars first. Okay. Alright, so we're going to be starting with the health bar, like I said. Uh, so here I have a little platformer sort of thing. I have a character, spike, a uh, little land, um, but I have basic stuff, basic collisions, it's not even really that great, but he can jump the spike and if he gets on it, it stops him, but what I want to do is have it so it takes damage, and so I'm going to need a health bar for that. So I'm going to insert object and I'm going to select the counter, and you're going to go to here, the little first one, the properties, the settings, whatever you want to call it, and then I'm going to set the initial value to 100. I'm going to set the minimum value to 0, and I'm going to set the maximum value to 100. Uh, you're going to need this, and then I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to go to horizontal bar, and I'm going to change it to gradient, I'm going to do from right, color, or well actually do from left, so you can set the black to be a green, and then that can be a red. Uh, this is just, you know, health bar. Green means good, so I figured, why not? I mean, you could do whatever color you want. I could do, you know, freaking... I could do this. But, uh, basically you're gonna have your health bar, and you're going to... So this is your health bar. You're gonna go to the, uh... Whatever it's called, event editor. And you're gonna go... You're gonna go to your collision with the spike and the character. And you're going to want to subtract from the counter. And we're going to put... Uh, you're going to put whatever you want. But I'm going to put 10. As long as it's between 1 and 100. So, and then I'm going to have when the counter uh, is equal to 0. Let's have it... Well, you can, again, you can do whatever you want. But let's have it in the application. I like to do that. So, here we have our platformer. And if we jump, uh, that happens. You can see if we hit the spike, our health slowly goes down until we die, and it sends us back. So, I did it the wrong way, you will want to do from right. I apologize for that, but yes. So this is a health bar, and yeah, it's pretty cool. You can also collect health pickups, and that's just adding data, so it's not that hard. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Uh, on to the next object, which I believe will be the crasher object. Oh, ooh. Uh, so the, uh, the next object is going to be the uh, crasher object, or it's just called crash, but uh, crasher. Um, but so basically, like, it just crashes the game. It uh, forces the engine to divide by zero. Or, like, that's what it said. Uh, or at somewhere I think I read that it crashes it, yeah, uh, by telling the engine to basically divide by zero. Um, so what we're gonna do with this is, it, it, it's mostly used, or at least I've used it before with the trial op period object, just kind of messing around with that, but that'll be for another day. Goodbye. Uh, so the crasher objects just kind of, yeah, like I said, it divides by zero, and it sort of breaks your game. So, I'm gonna have it, so I have my basic platformer here again. We have little monster guy. Uh, I think he was in, yeah, he was in my last tutorial. Maybe we can come up for a name for him. We might see him again later. I don't know. Uh, so let's take him, and we're gonna take this again. The collision with the spike, and I want it to crash my game. I don't want it to just take health away from him. I want it to completely break my game. 
if you do this, you're weird. Um, but I'm gonna have it just crash. That's as simple as that. Um, so yeah, like if I accidentally hit the spike, it'll freeze up. You can hear my keys, and yeah, it'll stop working. So I, I just think that's cool. Um, it's not that hard. Obviously, you could do it yourself. Uh, I just thought I'd do a little kind of show you the object. It's cool. It's made by what does it say here? Author L I J I. I don't know. He has a website here, neatwares.co.nr. But yeah, it's it's copyrighted. That's what I'm saying. That don't sue me. Um. So yeah, it's kind of cool. On to the last and final object, the window shade thing. All right. Time for our last and final object. Uh, I've got the window shape object here. Um, again, it's a lot like the crasher. It does take a little bit of work, but honestly, it's just kind of cool, and I want to show it to you all. Kind of just give you a little thing on how to use it. Um, so we have our platformer again here. We do have it. Um, oh, I didn't take the crasher off in the <laughs> last tutorial. Let me do that real quick. Um, but, so yeah, we're going to do that. We have the window shape. We're going to go to the event editor. And I'm going to have the start of frame. I don't want it to, the collisions unnecessary. So we're going to do a, so the window shape, there's a ton of different ones you can do. Um, I'm going to do, well, here, I'll make it kind of cool. So you can do start a frame. We're going to have it set at the, we're going to disable it. But we're also going to have it an elliptical shape and then when it collides with the spike let's have it enable so now when I play the game we have a normal screen I can jump over the spike when I hit the spike it gets circle circular circular <laughs> um, so yeah that's kind of cool uh, now you can see the X button sort of disappeared so you can't directly X out you'll have to go down to your little menu bar and exit out, close window, you know. Uh, or you can just click this and then, yeah, you really can't do that. Uh, yeah. You can also, there's, we can try some other ones out. Um, there's, get shape from active object. Uh, I can have whatever this is called. What is it called? Active three. So I can put here, hold on. So I have here active three, and then I guess when I try to do it, oh, oh, it's super tiny. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Uh, I don't know why you would want this. Again, you have to be really weird to want a tiny little triangle. I guess like if you're trying to make a big, big shape something cool like that but uh yeah this is kind of weird oh what is happening okay so it's not great but uh yeah uh so that's it for this one uh so yeah that was my first tutorial in a while now wasn't it um listen i i'm kind of sorry about being gone for as long as i was i was just kind of i don't know i just didn't really have any time I had other things to do hacker files I mean it's, it's been delayed quite a lot I'm so sorry for that but it's, just, it's hard um, but yeah so thanks uh, for watching this if you have made it this far and you haven't gotten bored along the way maybe there'll be some music I don't know uh, right now there isn't any plan but uh, anyway if you want to see more please comment down below what you'd like to see I can do like a have really any object because I do have the developer version so yeah I can do any object uh, except like an Android object because I don't have an Android myself so yeah uh, anything you really want me to do I can probably do it and uh, I'll see you all in the next tutorial